course. Because when you do kiss a girl, to make it official... There's got to be tongue. Major tongue. And you want to flick your tongue around. Ideally. And you really want to get your tongue underneath hers, too. Yeah, yeah, you want to get in there like a Claritin to just dissolve. Yeah. (laughs) There were just too many to fit onto one list. Hey, guys, it's Phoebe from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down another top 10 cartoon shows for adults. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Today we're counting down even more cartoons specifically for adults. However, shows that are geared towards children but that adults can still enjoy will not be included, so no gravity falls here. If you think we forgot something, check out our first list on the topic. Let's check it out. Now who wants to put on some blindfolds and get into my car? Yay! Wait, what? Number 10, Duckman. From the makers of Rugrats, this show is kind of the opposite of that. I'm doomed, Cornfed, doomed to live an unnoticed life. An anonymous drone stepped over and unappreciated till the day I die. Following the life of the namesake Eric Duckman, an abrasive and sarcastic duck private eye, as well as the lives of his family and friends, Duckman is a show filled to the brim with dark and risque humor, couched in a colorful and occasionally unsettling package. If you've got the itch, I've got the scratch. Here's a hundred, and there's more where that came from. (laughs) There is. Can I get it? I know what you're thinking, but I won't use my hands. Just my bill. Might take five, ten minutes, but I'll sniff it out. Duckman himself is an entertainingly sleazy character, and the supporting cast is strong, too. It may be one of the older shows on our list, but Duckman is still worth a look. Good morning. Duckman, are you all right? Those doctors gave you electroshock. Good for me. You don't mind having your brain destroyed? Heck no. They're board-certified professionals. They know what's best. Oh, boy! Highway construction! Number 9, Black Dynamite. All right, gang, you got until three Mississippi to split if you want to keep your asses intact. Meet me at the getaway car just like we planned. It's time to send fiendish Dr. Wu a message. All the ninjas in the world are no match for a couple of decent black folks working together with a plan. And some explosives. Based on the live-action film of the same name, Black Dynamite continues its cinematic forebearer's focus on the title character, an over-the-top black exploitation hero, as well as his friends, continuing their adventures battling the man and other 1970s-inspired foes. Featuring lots of sex, violence, mature language, and racism, Black Dynamite is a hilarious parody of the black exploitation film genre, with some great fight scenes and many bizarre celebrity cameos to boot. Hi, I'm Michael. Oh my God, that's Michael Jackson of the Jackson 5! Honeybee, I know who Michael Jackson is and what he is of. Bottom line, if you crave adult cartoon satisfaction, then dig this funky action. The other thing I would do is find a cause you're passionate about, like saving the whales, world peace, the children. That's it, the children. I'm going to spend all my time thinking about the children. Number eight, Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Ah! (laughs) Dr. Quest of Pleasure. Uh, Please, uh, call me Benton. (laughs) And uh, may I call you... Mr. Birdman. Mr. Birdman, yes. Although other shows like Space Ghost Coast to Coast and Sea Lab 2021 also took old Hanna-Barbera cartoons and put a new spin on them, Harvey Birdman, attorney at law, may be the pinnacle of the practice. Tell us a little about your relationship. Well, Race and I met one night. With your boys. Uh, Oh! (laughs) After retiring from being a superhero, Harvey Birdman takes up law, working with some of his former friends and allies representing other Hanna-Barbera characters in court cases and suffering through the bizarre antics of everyone around him. Oh, you know how pathetic it is to be solar-powered? All the other guys got their strength from real stuff. You know, radiation, chemical spill, coal. Who got their power from coal? Industrial lathe man. Full of non sequiturs and rapid fire dialogue and jokes, Harvey Birdman should be a legally binding necessity for any fan of adult animation. So, need something notarized? <laughs> nah, we came back to sue you all for completely ruining the planet. <laughs> well, now, I'm not so sure you can say without a doubt that we're actually ruined. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's what you get when you genetically modify corn a little too much. I'll take the case! Number 7 Metalocalypse. If you ever wondered what it would be like if a dim-witted band ruled the world, look no further. We are really, really good bosses. Yeah, I know. He cares about all of them. He's like a plantation, but the slaves, he's our friends. Metalocalypse follows the fictional-slash-real band Death Clock, whose moronic members are as successful as they are surrounded by death. 
prone to lowbrow humor and extreme violence, the series also has legitimately excellent music and an engaging, if downplayed, plot about Death Clock's connection to an apocalyptic prophecy. Be blind. What are you doing? You are the Whether you're already a metalhead or are interested in the genre and want some laughs, be sure to steal your stomach and check Metalocalypse out. You know, I feel slightly, just slightly better knowing my sawed-off shotgun is loaded. Oh, can I got cinnamon icing all over my hair! Number 6. Daria Named for its protagonist, Daria follows the eponymous misanthropic teenage girl and her life in high school and at home with her family. We were born in this room, we grew up in this room, and we thought we would die here alone. But now you've arrived and our lives can truly begin. She likes you! Although not as graphic or violent as many of our other entries, Daria manages to sharply satirize suburban life, usually by presenting its heroine as the voice of reason and showing how ridiculous the people around her behave, while adhering to what's normal. Um, you know, Trent, it takes a lot of guts to go after a dream, especially when you know that failure can mean spending the rest of your life playing L.A. woman in public. Still as bitingly funny now as it was 20 years ago, Daria herself may not think you're worth her time, but she and her show definitely are. I'm in touch with the teen within! Why don't you get in touch with the 30-something without? Your readers aren't gonna be teenagers forever, unlike you. Number 5. Robot Chicken Yo, what do you guys want for lunch today? Brains! Subway! Brains! Brains it is. Oh, I hate brains. A stop-motion animated series, Robot Chicken depicts a variety of short sketches on various subjects, almost always related to popular culture, and frequently targeting nostalgic cartoons, toys, or films. Well, the lack of testes was making me testy, but this boring event just took a sperm for the better. <laughs> huh? Hey everyone, this chick is giving me some, ah, uh, you know what, it's too easy. A joke withdrawn, everyone, joke withdrawn. The show often takes child-friendly or beloved properties and puts a darker spin on them, introducing sex, ultra-violence, or mature themes, or else exaggerating those things already present in them, which makes for effective and rather hilarious parody. So long as you don't take the things you loved during your childhood too seriously. Well, could you at least tell me if Leia's my sister? I kind of have a lot riding on it. Number 4. The Venture Brothers If we were ranking our entries based on the intricacy of their lore, this would easily be number one. I don't know, but judging from these goggles, it's the guild. It seems like you made it to the big league. What'd you do? Nothing! I was just sitting here watching the worst porno ever. Is that a head? Primarily centered around the Title Brothers, their failed scientist father and several bodyguards and their conflicts with villains, creatures, and their own failings, The Venture Brothers features a massive expanded cast and a dozen ongoing subplots. Any minute now, stuff's gonna start blowing up, guys will be throwing each other and other guys. Yep, probably. Huh. You know when you're not the one in the middle of it all for once? It's actually totally, completely obvious. Uh -huh. Taking cues from everything from comic books to Johnny Quest, the Venture Brothers beautifully sends up many of their tropes, while also celebrating pop culture and exploring themes of family and failure, often intertwining them. You broke my heart, Hank. You broke my heart. You know, I bet this guy would pay 10 million for Hank. What do you say, double or nothing? Number three, Bob's Burgers. So we have to sell some burgers. Every year this weekend makes or breaks us. Who's farting? It's Gene's sound effects thing. I thought that made you sound like a robot. It does robot voice, laser sound, and fart noise. <sighs> oh, God. An animated adult sitcom about the Belcher family, who run the titular restaurant, Bob's Burgers bears some similarity to other adult cartoon sitcoms, but distinguishes itself by having more of an emphasis on character-based comedy. Fly, toilet, fly! Toilets can't fly, Gene. This one can! And activate wings! Playing artist wings. No, 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 no! The characters are often quirky, yet also relatable, and they remain relatively consistent in their characterization, unlike some other shows we could mention. Still, that isn't to say that the show doesn't get crazy or outlandish, because it certainly delves into strange and risque territory. Buck up, Gene. It's like I scream into my pillow every time I don't get a horse on my birthday. There's always next year! Overall, though, Bob's Burgers serves up a belly full of laughs, while also occasionally tugging at your heartstrings. 
Bobby, you've been practicing. Yeah, I went online. Got some tips. They have kissing tips online? I learned a few moves. Check this one out. This one is your anniversary gift. <laughs> Number two, Rick and Morty. Oh, great adventure, buddy. Rick and Morty go to giant prison. You know, if somebody drops the soap, it's gonna land on our heads and crush our spines, Morty. You know, it'll be really easy to rape us after that. One of the darkest and most outlandish comedies in recent years, Rick and Morty depicts the adventures of a brilliant, if amoral, scientist and his nervous grandson and the rest of their family across dimensions in space. Who the f*** are you? My goofy brother, Steve? <laughs> He's been living here almost a year now. Are you losing your mind? Hey, someone's been spending too much time around glowing rocks, am I right? <laughs> 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 The series' bleak and bizarre humor, combined with its inventive sci-fi concepts, which are often mashups of existing properties, as well as its unexpectedly heart-wrenching emotional moments, have made it a runaway hit in recent years. We need to kill everyone that we can only remember fondly. Who's got a bad memory about Mrs. Refrigerator? <laughs> we never know quite what to expect with this show, which is what makes it so fun to watch. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Big reveal, I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pickle! Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. It's moments like this when I know I wouldn't trade what I have right now for Swallow! You're a good guy, Gary! All right, Jesus, rapture me! Take off your clothes. Oh, I, I thought they came off magically. You're not really Jesus, are you? Number one, Bojack Horseman. Oh, do you think what you do is so hard? Oh, I'm a writer. I go to coffee shops with my laptop and my notebook and my dumb glasses that I have to wear because I'm so important, I need to see clearly. This adult cartoon dramedy follows the title character, a washed up horse actor who attempts to make his comeback while fighting his own self-destructive tendencies, as well as his fellow anthropomorphic and human friends and acquaintances in Hollywood. See, Sarah Lynn, we're not doomed. In the great grand scheme of things, we're just tiny specks that will one day be forgotten. So it doesn't matter what we did in the past or how we'll be remembered. The only thing that matters is right now, this moment, this one spectacular moment we are sharing together. Right, Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn? Along with having a dark, cynical humor throughout, the show does an excellent job satirizing show business, politics, and other current events. Bojack Horseman also delivers some surprisingly affecting dramatic moments too, and doesn't shy away from its protagonist's addictions and depression. Sober up, buddy. Here we go. Sober now. Sober now. Come on, you drunk piece of shit. Be less drunk. This show will make you laugh, cry, and think about life. What more could you ask for? I, 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 I need you to tell me that I'm a good person. I know that I can be selfish and narcissistic and self-destructive, but underneath all that deep down, I'm a good person and I need you to tell me that I'm good. Diane, tell me, please, Diane, tell me that I'm good. So what do you guys think? Did we get it right? Don't forget to check out our first list on the topic and check out these videos.